Hey guys, welcome back to Keys to the Cosmos. I wanted to do another little video on my mount because I ran into another issue. Remember I had that first issue where the mount wasn't communicating with my ASI Air and then I had to buy that unpowered USB hub and that's what fixed the problem. Hope you're able to catch that video. Um, but I did come across another uh, little problem. Well, I call it a fairly major problem because it was really affecting my tracking accuracy. I wasn't happy with the way the mount was tracking. You know, this is the EC version. It's supposed to be able to track unguided and I was not getting very good results. But one thing I noticed was I was having a really hard time trying to balance the mount. Normally when you watch a video on how to balance a mount, what do they say? First of all, balance the declination, okay? So that's the saddle where the telescope goes. You turn it so that the, the scope is sort of parallel with the ground and see if it pulls to one side, right? So if it's pulling to the back, then you want to move it up towards the front and that should fix it and reverse if it's the other way around. That's fairly simple. Then the RA axis, your main axis here that tilts this way, again, parallel to the ground, make sure it's not pulling either way, make adjustments to the counterweights. And by doing both of those, you should, uh, in theory, have a mount that's uh, fully balanced and should hold position no matter where you put it other than maybe some extremes but for the most part it should stay in just about any position from parallel to upright and the other way as well here was the problem that I was having I should take this off to start the problem I was having was here it is now I threw this together very quickly but it's roughly balanced not perfect but this is the problem I was having. So when I disengage the lock, you can see it quite quickly pulls to this side. And you think, well, maybe the counterweights aren't right, no matter what I did. And if I went too far with them, it would pull this way. But you can see, even if I start past upright, maybe not that far past, but even a little bit past the upright, it still will pull to the side. So clearly there's a weight issue and I was not able to fix it uh, by adjusting the counterweights. It just, no matter what I did, you would either not correct it or make it worse on the other side. So I had to figure out what to do. I started doing some research and that's when I learned about third axis balancing. Now I am not in any position to explain that using mathematics. All I know is how it works and how you guys can put together something similar to help solve the problem. So this is a problem I, from what I've been reading with a lot of these ioptron mounts. And the reason is with many mounts, when you disengage the uh, access, whether it's deck or the RA, it might be like a twist knob where it slowly disengages. And even though it's disengaged and it can move, there's still some friction there. With these, it's either on or off. Okay, so there's a, there's a switch here. And basically, once you switch it unlocked, it's completely disengaged. Like, there is nothing, you can't feel any, any tension whatsoever. It's completely free. And that's a good thing. That's why these mounts, when they're balanced and running properly, track so well, so accurately, even unguided. But because of that, it also makes them extremely sensitive to imbalance. And as I mentioned, no matter what I did, I was not able to get imbalance um, the traditional way. So that's when I learned about, as I mentioned, third axis balancing. So basically what that means is you have your weight going this way and your weight uh, uh, left to right. But when you pull the weight sort of out to the side, that's what helps correct the off the offset um, imbalance that we're getting. Another one of the reasons too that I've read is because one of the motors uh, in the deck is actually off to the side. So I'm not 100% that that's true, but they say that's why it generally will pull to the one side. So the, the saddle itself is a little bit uh, imbalanced. So that's why you're gonna get that difficulty in balancing. But I'm sure this is the case with some other mounts out there as well. So it might help you with your brand, even if it's not an ioptron. So how do I fix it? Well, as you saw in the beginning of this video, it's with pulling the weight on the counterweight bar off to the side. Now I'm gonna explain what I put together here, but let me just show you, first of all, how it worked. So you remember when I disengaged the clutch, it would completely pull to the left immediately. In fact, if I didn't grab it, it would crash to the other side. Now watch what happens when I take just about, I would say two pounds, give or take, two and a half pounds, on a little clamp, we put it on the counterweight bar, and we go not quite parallel to the ground, just off, uh, I would say upwards a little bit, but you see it's off to the side here. And watch what happens now when I disengage the clutch. It doesn't move. And in fact, I can move it there 
I can move it there, it stays. And the same is true on the other side. So um, this, you know, this little contraption that I put together here, I'm not gonna take credit for it. There's other guys that have done videos on it as well that helped me to do this. This is what fixed the problem. It's pulling that a little bit of weight off to the side, third on a sort of third axis. And now the, the mount has um, perfect balance. It can be in any position and it will track well. Because when you really think about it, the beginning of the night, you know, assuming that you're shooting something at 30, 35 degrees, the mount's not gonna be all the way down and pointing up, right? That's more like, like at Zenith. It's going to be just off to the side, maybe even straight up, but the declination is slightly turned. And in that position, I was not getting good tracking, traction because you can imagine that scope is wanting to go down and the motors on the mount are trying to keep it steady and it just, I wasn't getting anything longer than 60 seconds and it just, the stars were starting to elongate, which of course, after spending this amount of money and buying a nice mount like this, I was not happy with. So that basically solved everything. So let me just explain basically, I keep forgetting it's not engaged because it's staying where it is. So how did I put this together? Well, it's four main components, I guess you could say. So I'll show it in pictures here, but I have uh, this little clamp. It's like a camera clamp that I bought off Amazon. And here is the listing here so that you can look for it yourself if you want to. The key to it, it has two threaded holes where this rod comes out of. There's a 3 8 inch, which is the one I'm using, and there's also a quarter inch. So I bought this clamp. This holds on very tightly. It works really well. It does not move at all once you clamp it tight. Then I bought this, I mentioned this 3 8 inch rod just at my local Home Depot. I think it's about eight inches long, give or take. Okay, so on the one end it threads in. On the other end, there's actually a, you know, a head on it. So you can't load anything from this side. You gotta bring everything from here. And you can bring it almost all the way. There's no threading at the very end, but you know what? It's far enough out that it seems to work. And the only really other major thing I bought are these washers, these large washers. Um, these ones are code 2647, so that may help you if you are going to Home Depot. They're rather large. They're a little bit, the hole's a little bit bigger than the threading on the, on the rod here, but with these uh, bolts here, it's able to hold it in place. I have a locking nut here just to keep it in place. And so it's very steady. They're not going anywhere and all the weight is at the one end and that's what helps it to work. Basically, I didn't even have, to, I thought for sure, I think I have 10 washers on here, by the way. Um, you know, your mount be, may be different depending on how many counterweights you have and all that. But I thought there was gonna be one of these things where I was gonna be spending two, three hours trying to take these washers off, add more. You know, I don't. I really don't think it's that sensitive. I, I, I just put the 10 on, I thought I'd try. It worked instantly. You can play around with the angle at which you put the clamp, whether it's you know parallel with the ground or a little more up. I found just a little bit up worked, but I would say within five minutes of that first night using this, I had it in balance. So it corrected the problem. I know it's a bit of a pain. You spend money on a amount like this and you hope it works right out of the box, but this was the only thing I could find that worked. And I, as I mentioned, I won't take credit. There's other guys that, that solved this problem but um, it is a fairly common one with our Optron mounts. So something to keep in mind, if you are gonna be buying this mount, you may need to do something like this, or if you have another mount where you're having a similar problem, this is a good solution and it's fairly cheap, you know, around $30 for everything. So I'm very happy with it now. I'm gonna be having my full review very soon of this mount. I just wanna sing some more time, learn as much about it as I can, and then I can share that with you guys. But Fairly simple solution to fix a pretty big problem when it comes to tracking. So I really hope that helps, guys. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.